Hello guys and welcome back to this thing that I'm doing, uh, analyzing I am Eric Rosen's game. Uh, all his, uh, uh, all of his games in this video uh, that he posted uh, when he plays uh, 12 hours chess. And uh, this video I will link down in the description and uh, I will also give you a timestamp there to where this game was in that long 12 hour video where Eric Rosen played that and Eric Rosen is an international master and really good at chess and I, he's playing the London again and yeah I really wanted to go and check that out how he plays the London here because uh, it's interesting. We got some other variation here. So as I've said in the previous two videos, this is the London where you play these moves and almost these moves only. But sometimes there are some variations in that and we're gonna see that today. So game starts off like this and then that and then here, bishop here just exactly the same as you usually play the London. And then my opponent plays this interesting move and um, yeah. This uh, is something we haven't covered previously, and uh, actually we just ignore this and play this regular move uh, in the London that we usually play, or actually the one, yeah, the usual move. Sometimes uh, they play knight here first, but I don't like doing that, so yeah, I would probably play that too. And then opponent plays knight uh, queen here, and this is, this is a bit quick, usually you want to get these knights out. You get both knights out here, and then you put your uh, your queen here. And yeah, that's how you sh you're supposed to play uh, this way, because uh, yeah, you can see it's completely equal here, so... Um, and you should get the knights out first if you're playing against the London, and then get the queen out, so yeah. And this is not what he played, he's just, he's impatient, I guess, or something, and plays queen out here directly, immediately. And then Eric Rosen replies perfectly, and this is something uh, we should remember here. When opponents forgets to place these knights out in this position where he plays this and this move, uh, then you want to play this move, knight here. Ignore that he's attacking your pawn. Or you can't really do anything about it, really, so... Uh, yeah, just develop this knight here. So you can think like, oh, you're attacking here, well then I'm moving something here, and then we're moving the knight. And this is interesting, because now we're not gonna move the knight to its uh, usual square in the London, we're actually gonna place it here. And that's more like the Jubaba London defense, um, or opening. And, um, yeah, so that's... That is uh, the primary lesson, I think, for this game. There's a bit of complications here. So this is one time where we actually don't play pawn here. And that's new for me. I didn't know this. I didn't know this stuff. Um, but this is something I will try to remember in my future games. If queen is played here directly, we play knight here. Eric plays it, and he not has seen this before, I'm pretty sure. I also want to mention in this position, um, that uh, your opponent, uh, at least my opponent, would really, I'm very sure they would like most probably take here. And this is so much winning for white, and that's why this is such a, a be beautiful move here uh, to remember. And this is why this is worth learning. Because now we have boom attacking this, and now there's like much harder to protect this because we can take with the bishop like if this was played we can take here and then he if he takes back we're winning we can even attack the queen first he can attack the queen but they wouldn't do that probably anyhow we're winning so bad here so that's something to keep in mind um, that uh, and that's like a huge reason why this move is so good because if queen takes you're gone here like look at the computer 
you have this, you have this, if proponent tries anything, like, like this is the computer move, but we have this, as I said, and then takes, and then we have this, winning the rook, winning everything. And yeah, that's, that's the game. So, that's why this move is so important to remember here, in the immediate queen development. Put in place that. Now Eric actually plays this move, and computer says this is the best move. Uh, because it's protected by the bishop, and then we're attacking this. So yeah, that is something that I think we should play here. Opponent plays this, we're taking here, attacking the queen, or the queen takes back. And then this idea, which is what David Grossman plays later, we're gonna see that, but I just wanted to look at this variation here. We're developing normally, and computer plays here, playing here. We usually put the bishop here, but now in this variation, it wants to put the bishop here. It's almost the same thing, I think. Would it be so bad to go here? It wouldn't be too bad. It would be a bit worse, but not like too bad. So I don't think it really matters too much. And then here, and then he here. This is a usual move in London. Castles playing this. This is new. We're just attacking the queen. Yeah, and then we have some kind of game like this. Mm, and you're slightly better, so. Uh, that's one interesting game to, uh, to keep in mind. Uh, this is something that Eric Rosen also gets into, but. Uh, But not exactly like this in this game. So uh, let's see here. And yeah, this is something you usually seem to do here. After you put this pawn here, you should take with the pawn back here. Uh, not um, not taking with the bishop as one might think. Uh, we're going here, here, taking here. Yeah. Okay. But then just play on as normal, I think. Trying to play a natural move, so yeah, that's one interesting variation here. And in this kind of variation where he puts the queen quickly here, it seems like we want to play this move to protect this knight and then take with a pawn. So that's another really important lesson. So yeah, this is probably what I would play. Eric doesn't play this, Eric played this move. Which I think is almost the same thing, but the uh, computer doesn't really like this move. So I, I don't think I would play this. Um, but then Eric is Eric, so I might. Opponent plays that, normal move to develop the bishop, and now Eric plays here, and that's interesting. Um, he didn't play it first, I think he maybe meant to play that first, because now we're attacking this. Opponent plays this, natural move to protect here, protect the fork, and then Eric plays this move. So this is, I think this is all theory. Um, in the immediate, maybe we can call this type the immediate queen development from black. Uh, and then we're playing this kind of stuff. These kind of three moves here. That's very interesting. Haven't, haven't seen this before. I want to know, learn more about the London, so... I'm very happy to see this kind of play. Um, opponent plays here, so I think the reason we we're playing this at all is because, yeah, because this next move, bishop is gonna attack this knight sooner or later. If we don't play that, say we play this move instead, he's gonna go here anyway. Engine actually suggested it first, but I think if if we make some random move like this, for instance. Computer goes here, wants to attack this knight. So I think that's the primary reason we want to go here. And also, so after it takes, we can get an open file and then we're happy. We like open files. So, um, yeah. This is, uh, I think this is the whole lesson for this video. These three moves. Maybe the whole lesson. I don't know. Maybe I have something else. But um, I think this is the foundation of this. Uh, 
these arrows here really summarize this, this video just to be a bit quicker in this one than the last one uh, yeah uh, early queen development we means get putting your knight here putting it here and then playing this move that's easy to remember I'd say just to make it a bit simple you know and uh, white is slightly better Opponent plays this Eric plays normal London move that's a normal move too, preparing to castle. And this is actually also a normal London move, just putting your knight there. Uh, that's on e5, that's usually what you do. Um, yeah, it's nothing nothing special here, because it's a bit hard for black to get this out of the way, especially now when you can't really move the knight anywhere uh, to play this. So you, can, you could play here, obviously. Uh, so yeah, maybe that was a stupid uh, comment there. Mm. So yeah, but this is just normal. You usually just you don't you barely have to think here. You just put your knight there. What I've seen, a normal move because it's a very nice square for the knight. And then a normal developing move. Maybe I would have played here now. Uh, I think there's some complications here. No, I don't know. Maybe you don't want to play here because this and then this is not good. I don't know why this should be a better move than this. Let's see how the engine reacts. 0 0.1 plus, and if I go here, yeah, I think it's almost the same. Just as we saw in the other line here in the beginning. Oh, see, it's even the same. I think this is what I would have played. Opponent plays that, we play here, opponent played here, and we play... See, we're gonna go here anyway, but the question is, why is this so bad? Why is this move so bad? I like this move, because it's ice down on this pawn here. And uh, this is not protected anymore, because knight moved. So I would play this move. But yeah, now <laughs> knight moves back. I just like this line. Let's see... Um, Let's see what happens if we ask for multiple lines here. Yeah. Actually, Engine likes my suggestion now, apparently. Huh. So yeah, this is what I think I would have played. Because, um, or no, takes here first, takes and then here. And now the Engine also thinks, like I do. And I'm very happy for that. Um, but Eric don't play this, he plays here, which engine actually suggests, I don't think it's really a big difference here. Um, I guess in the London you could play here more often. I think it's because you eventually want to put your uh, bishop here. And uh, that's what something we've seen in London, to have a great diagonal here. But I like this diagonal more, that's just my preference, but yeah. Okay, so when he takes here we should take back with the pawn, as we said in the beginning of the video. To get an open nice file and they, this that goes for you can see that goes for two lines this goes for this line where we played this first and uh, it also goes for the other line where we didn't play this uh, but we rather play this immediately and this still goes to get this open file opponent plays here just moving the knight away here we, I, eric was thinking a lot like he had a bunch of ideas first he was thinking about queen e4 but then the problem here was a6, and if we take, and then rook can take, and then, yeah, it's not good. Like, where are you moving your queen here, and then you lose your rook? No, we're not doing that, so he didn't actually like this move too much, because this is a problem, eventually. Um, so he was thinking about this move c4. Um, which is the best move here? But he... He kind of didn't want to go for it for some reason, so I actually took here instead. Uh, but this move is good because if we go here and opponent tries to take this pawn here, then we have this move and we're trapping the queen. Can't go here, uh, can't go here or here because it's protected by the pawn. And uh, it's actually not trapped really, but because you can take this pawn, but then you lose the knight, and this knight is protected, so you can't take back. So it has to go here, and then you're just up a piece. 
and now it's happy happy time for um, white here um, very much winning for white so um you're just up a piece so yeah I think that's a th this would be a good move but kind of complicated computer actually wants to take here then take here then take here then take here but it's almost the same see we're just winning a piece here or are we after this move here and then back okay we're actually why wouldn't you want to take here because you can't castle later yeah so castle goes here but you're you're up the exchange here uh, what would say I'm surprised that uh, engine doesn't say it's better for more better for white here because you're up so much like I got a rook for the bishop and I have one two three four five one two three four five six yeah so he's up a pawn too but I still up I'm up the exchange so yeah uh, so that would have been a better move from Eric um, it's kind of hard to know because this uh, to me this doesn't seem very really natural because for me I just want to have this nice structure here uh, but I think the thing is after he eventually takes here we can play knight there and yeah I think it really depends on this knight being here there was some other uh, thing that we looked in the other video when, where we have knight here and the pawn was pushed here uh, and uh, then uh, yeah this pawn was pushed and then if he takes we can take so this knight is very useful for some kind of pawn uh, maneuvering here uh, to have on this uh, square it seems uh, like in something happening a lot in the London so if here then if takes eventually maybe you take here first but who cares you, you're taking here eventually the knight comes here so yeah that's that's another lesson the pawn maneuvering on the queen side while having a knight here but Eric didn't play that Eric plays this move thinking like yeah we we got some kind of nice pawn structure here, I guess <laughs> computer didn't like that too much and um, yeah Eric plays here he said um, here that c4 almost traps the queen but he didn't see this set so it doesn't work because bishop takes his set so yeah so we're just playing this move uh, you can't really or you have to take but then we take so we get the piece back and he said he w this was just confusing for him so if, if it's confusing to in 2473 it should be confusing to me too and yeah it kind of is um, and uh, opponent is much better here too bad actually um, but uh, this seems to be a huge blunder from black because black should take here he has two attackers here then take here then take here and then this rook is protected so you could win a pawn and that's what you want to do I guess because if you trade the if you don't trade the queen you still have two attackers on this pawn if you trade the queen you you don't have two attackers on this pawn takes takes but why can't you take here this is my question it's not defended oh I'm so stupid yeah the rook was attacked yeah so after rook here wait a minute rook here I mean um, yeah there are some other complications this is actually what happened in the game um, but yeah you should take this pawn first because otherwise you won't get it I think that's the reason also this knight is good here because it attacks another pawn and yeah you're just winning pawns here so this is what's the right move Eric uh, or the opponent didn't play and he would be winning actually so this was like a very big moment to make the right move here for uh, black to win but this is a huge mistake so Eric 
maybe would have lost this game if he was playing a better player. But these both guys are still very good players, so I won't blame him. Like, uh, really high ratings here from uh, Banane Verte, uh, which is uh, the, his opponent. I maybe forgot to mention that, and he's 2,339, so... Yeah, and then we're, uh, we're winning here. And here he was thinking, fancy idea of taking here, and then Rook takes here, and then we can take here, and if uh, Rook takes, we got a Rook fork. Uh, but the problem is uh, Rook goes here, and checks the king, and then we lose the rook, and everything is falling apart. So yeah, he didn't go for that. But he still took that, and then uh, uh, played bishop here. Best move would be this, you can't take back, because rook is here, and now this is not protected anymore. And it also attacks a rook, so that would have been a much better move, like, look at this move, so beautiful. And then we could take here, wait a minute. Yeah, because we have two attackers. Yeah, mm, but uh, I don't know if I wanted to talk too much more about this game. We're, we're reaching the end game now, and this was a very, very long game. Um, and I don't know really what to say more. Uh, we're slightly better here, so we should be winning. Uh, and uh, then it's just end game stuff. And he said everything is kind of stuck here. And he was confused here. Uh, so, uh, maybe there's not much more to say here. He's, he said, I'm just gonna blitz out moves here to gain some time, because it's increment chess, and they just move back and forth. And uh, he also said at some point here that this uh, this uh, is gives some potential uh, for Zugzwang. Zugzwang, I don't know if I'm uh, pronouncing that right, but uh, that means, uh, Zugzwang means that... Um, you, uh, your opponent uh, might not want to make it's your opponent's turn, but maybe he doesn't want to make a move because it's gonna be worse for him. And that's uh, I think that's something like six one. And yeah, that makes sense because everything is stuck. But yeah, this was a really really long game and complicated and t took a lot of work. This end game stuff like moving back and forth, very weird game. Uh, and he eventually converted it, but black was actually better here, but made some endgame mistake. But I, I don't want to look at end games. This is not London at this point. I mean, we're we're over the opening phase. But Eric eventually wins here with the rook and the queen here, and uh, that's mate. And yeah, so who wins the game. I'm happy for that, and I still believe this opening theory is worth learning, even though. Uh, it wasn't better like all the game, it was kind of up and down. Um, but the beginning phase, he was uh, really much better all the time here. Uh, but uh, as I said, the lessons are here if the queen comes here early. Early queen development after these moves means knight here, and after some, uh, some other move like this, we're playing this computer said before at least. I think that's that's the line I like at least. If we look at the... Uh, yeah, it just had to think a bit. After the engine thinks, it wants to go here. And uh, this is what I want to remember. And then eventually here, and then eventually here and here, and takes back with a pawn. And yeah, that's, that's I think the summary for this video. Uh, this very cool idea. Uh, here and yeah obviously <laughs> opponent can play this directly because uh, this is attacked so opponent gotta play this and then uh, he might play this eventually um, but we're gonna take actually according to the engine um, this is not Eric play but it's engine play <laughs> Um, so takes here, takes here, here, wait a minute to see if what the computer says, 3, 2, 1, I think, 
you can hear my computer sounding a lot right now it's uh, the fan going like crazy and uh, this is hard position very hard position here for my poor computer um, yeah maybe, maybe this is something you would want to play I don't know um, uh, yeah Uh, maybe that's advisable over Eric's move here. I don't know. It's hard to say. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not convinced yet. Like, I, I have to think about this. Um, let's see. If we put multiple lines here. We have a bunch of stuff here, but I mean, computer suggests this move the most. Uh, and that to me that means that it's the best. It also likes this move a lot. Eric plays this, so um, yeah. What to do here? What to, what what should I play here in this position? Well, we at least we know this idea. And I actually thought that Eric's approach was very much alike, so I think both actually works. So I think that's something. But still, though, this idea still applies here. And if takes, takes, and then get an open rook file. This idea still applies, no matter if you play this first or not, it doesn't really matter. And then eventually we want to put that knight there. So yeah. As I said, summary of the video. This move, These a few moves here. In the early queen development, you want to put your knight here, put your knight here, play this move, wait for a capture, take back, get your knight up in the game, and uh, that's pretty much it for this early queen development type of London. And uh, I think that's everything actually. Uh, putting the knight there, just said that, taking there, and then, uh, and then if you ever reach this position, try to remember this move. And then you're better than an international master, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but it's not clear that you would reach this position, but... Maybe this would work in similar variations, too. I don't know. Uh, where the queen is here, because you have a knight here, so... So that's another lesson. Uh, and then... Then it's just endgame stuff. So... That's all the lessons for this video. Uh, I've repeated it a couple of times. Um, I will make a comment down in the description also to summarize for you guys to remember. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Leave a comment and like the video and subscribe. And bye! That I'm breaking down. Everybody knows I ain't faking now. Everybody knows my heart's vacant now. Yeah, she hates me now. I made mistakes, but now I don't ever want to be alone. I don't really ever feel at home on my own in the zone. That's the only way I know. Feeling low, about to blow back up. Here I won't ever let the doubt creep in. Gotta pop a couple more, best friend. I don't think I'll ever let you in. Easier to break it off, best friends. I don't really understand myself. I don't really understand, need help. I don't want to be left on the shelf. Couldn't even hear me if I yelled. It's okay. Cold outside. I'm alone. I'm alright. It's so cold outside. I'm alone.